Ah, oh, buddy. But, uh, yeah, overall, what more can I say other than simply, uh, this was a above average episode for the Masters A compared to, like, the, uh, Alon episode we got a while back. That Alon episode did not do the series any just, and I will say, uh, for this one at least, this one felt, um, slightly better because i did like a lot more of the f well first of all the biggest praise you could give this episode was it's actually the whole episode bro it's actually the whole thing <laughs> you know you didn't get to see like 15 minutes of it being for the battle or 10 minutes of the battle and then you see 10 minutes of of content that everyone asked for that should have been in the previous episode or something but like this episode despite certain things that felt uh, you know what it is this episode felt more in game than it did felt anime does that make sense to you guys because the characters like chat pointed out a bunch of times like the characters didn't dodge at all like the the pokemon just stood there and took the hits like champs bro um and then they went on to the next move and this episode felt more like as if it was heading in the direction of the video games a little too faithful to the video games honestly i, I want to be clear on that because i think the whole purpose of an anime is supposed to be breaking those boundaries and supposed to allow us to witness battles that we ourselves can never experience then that henceforth why things like the pikachu combo and dp or just simply the idea of a um of a dodge is such a unique uh, experience in the anime because it's something that we ourselves cannot replicate uh in the games unless you're playing something like pokemon where you are the pokemon there but like other than that really uh this is all that is you know uh, aside from that though i will admit like aside from the beginning of the episode when like the um <clears throat> was it the hyper beam that hit the auroras and you saw like that like the the belly just like shaking up because of the hit was so strong it like shook the auroras belly like that caught my attention um but there is a lot of things about this episode that felt very flat though um and that was my biggest criticism on the episode i just think that uh that the way some sequences, you know, felt here were sort of rough anyway. Well, so you, wait, what? Also, this episode had like six direct, what? <laughs> what? Yo, hold up a second. I don't believe you on that front. What? What? That's impossible. You mean to tell me that this episode had a, a, hold on. Let's see. Wataro versus Skarnet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is eight animation directors in this episode. Bro. Oh, shit. What? There is eight animation directors. Holy damn. Wow, that that's uh that's unfortunate, bro. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of animation directors there. Yeah, you can see it right there from Azura's screen uh, up here on the top right. That seems too many. Yeah, listen, look, sometimes having a lot of directors can often be good if known how to do proper because you always need to have that one leader to control everybody following soon after. But when you decide to put in too much to... They, it's the Masters 8, bro. It's the Masters 8 animators, but they're not all they're not all working together. They're fighting against one another, and it can cause a lot of... Uh, and I think Tyrell mentioned this in the chat. Uh, it caused some stiffness when it comes to uh, certain animation sequences. My biggest criticism, like, the Dragon Pulse, remember when it just went like this, it just went like up, down, up, down, up, but, like, it didn't feel like it was moving, but it, it was on the screen, but it didn't feel like it was actually flowing in the world of the Pokemon anime. Certain sequences were great, though, like, Pumpkin's fight scenes looked good, like, when it smacked the shit out of Gyarados, bro, that was clean as hell. But, like, with the Dragon Pulse, though, that was just, like, let me just go up and down, up and down, up and down. But it didn't feel like it was, like, actually moving, you know, in the show itself. It just was animated to look like it was. It, it's a, it's hard to explain, but I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say with that one. Um, overall, though, 
like like many others, I do agree. This was a uh, this was just a average episode. Definitely ten billion times better than the uh, than the previous one we had by a long shot. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the episode is all good. You know, there are certain things that I could see people point out and n not nitpick, but like you know, critique on. And uh, this is one of those moments here. Now, with that being said, next week's episode, at least just judging from the preview, let me be clear, just judging from the preview, it looks like they know where to put the episode focus on when it comes to animation. If the next episode hits hard, then we know why. But, like, just from the preview alone, it looks like that there is a lot more impact in the moves. Like, you see the way, like, the two dragons clash with each other. Or the way the the rocks and the dragon attacks from this air are, like, hitting each other. And you actually see the screen shaking and shit. Like, that's the kind of thing I was saying that I think this episode here was missing. That I think the next episode will show off more in detail. But that's, once again, something we'll have to wait until that next episode drops. However, like I stated before, I think this episode was, uh, was pretty tight. So yeah, uh, but nothing to where I'll be like, oh shit, groundbreaking. And also, uh, let me at least give some praise where praise is due. I did like the return of the cameos with the, the, the Chronicles gang and the Kalos gang. I think that was actually really touching. This is going to be one of the only opportunities to see these kind of characters. I never thought, I never thought they would bring back the freaking Chronic. Who, who had it in their bingo list of like the Chronicles gang are going to be showing up. Oh yeah, and Richie too. And, uh, like, who, who thought that the Chronicles gang would actually return? Those characters. Who would have thought that they would actually be implemented into this story again? Which does beg the question of whether or not, like, they're going to be handled a lot better with other cameos that could appear later down the road. Legend of Thunder is indeed canon. We know that. It's just more so just the mere fact that they show up is what it is. Also, why is, you know, I do have to ask, though, because I could have sworn that um, Sawyer, wasn't he, like, with uh, Steven? So didn't they, like, go to Hoenn? What's he doing back in Kalos? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, just weird little funny nitpicks. I, I just wanted to point that out. It was kind of funny there. But it was, uh, it was nice to at least see them again. Uh, so, yeah. Now, if movie characters start cameoing, that's another thing. He stays at Kalos. Oh, does he? I guess so, maybe. Uh, but still, kind of interesting to kind of point out regardless. Um, yeah, Azur, you bring up a good point. You know, Dragon Pulse felt like a green screen asset. It's just like, okay, we need to use this for this shot here. So just, just put it in there, and there you go. <laughs> you know, so... But that's how it felt like for me. Uh, so, overall, if I was to give it a score right now, reaction-wise, probably a 7. Uh, I didn't hate the episode. There was nothing about this episode to hate. Honestly, this was probably the weakest Master Zay, like, battle. In terms of, like, just the mere thought of two trainers duking it out with each other is. Like, because to me, like I mentioned before, Lance and Dianthus fight, I'm not really like that big of a deal with that one. Especially when I would have preferred seeing like Lance and Iris fight. Um, you know, but still, regardless, the episode didn't make me lose my shit and uh, I, I'm, I'm happier with that. So yeah, 118 to 119, two week break. Ah, oh, shit, bro. That, that. Ah, man, that... Hold on a second. Dude, this can't be possible. You, you're lying, bro. Let me see. Episode 118 comes out on uh, July 22nd. And then episode... What's the next one? Episode 119. Where's 119? There is no 119. I don't see 119 anywhere here. I see a 120 uh, that's coming out on July... F uh, f I mean, in August 5th. We don't know one episode, though. So 119 is, I think, the episode that they're keeping a secret. Uh, so yeah, overall, like I stated, my thoughts on the episode, pretty hype, pretty hype, no, not, nothing groundbreaking. Alright, so let me go and uh, move out of here, and let's go into the stage, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, oh shit, we were, alright, there we go, I got it, wait, why am I doing that? I could just do this, there we go. Hello, 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 you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay, okay, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. 
Okay, so obviously, just as a heads up right now, our good buddy, uh, Emmy, is unfortunately unable to join us tonight because I think she had some technical hiccups and I think it's something that's kind of spreading a little bit for uh, Canada, if I'm correct, or something like that. I'm not necessarily sure the deeds on that. But yeah. because of that, uh, she is unable to join us tonight. Uh, but she did request, I believe, for you to help us out for tonight's uh, segment here, if you don't mind, buddy. Wait, which Cosmic? one? Who? Uh, Cosmic or Joker? Or High Puff? Yes. <laughs> yeah. All of us! Yeah. It was all our help! All of us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, I'm assuming me, because I'm the one with the shield. Yeah, yeah and I'm also doing, the fact yeah. that you were the one that wrote in the chat, I can help out. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 so I, I yes. am Emmy today. I too. love my sister Joker. Uh, bye from Sister Dash. I wow. love bows and Pikachu. And, and, and I hate the pacing of journeys. <laughs> <laughs> a cosmic it. and joke. Wait, what'd you say, Tyrone? Hold on, let me read what joke uh, what Tyrone said. Cosmic and Joker are needed to do Emmy's job. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> yes. Yes. Snubbed. Yes. Uh, who who did that? But uh, yeah. Cosmic. So both Cosmic and uh, Joker, uh, you guys will be helping me out for tonight. Much appreciated. Really do appreciate it. Uh, so we are going to have a lot of fun with tonight, although it doesn't seem like there is a lot to go in terms of like people who want to review for tonight. So uh, I think people really just feel that. kind of average with the episode. So, yeah. Well, I don't think anyone really wanted to see this episode. It's just kind of <laughs> champions no one cares about. They all turned <laughs> off. They all turned off after the long fight. Yeah, yeah. they all turned off with, with a long loss. Everyone lost. Yeah, everyone all just right, lost. I'm gonna head out. Bro, that, that's a sad truth. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn, like, bro. When... You, you could tell who were the X and Y fans. <laughs> Yeah, when you saw Alon versus Leon, everyone was here. Yeah, exactly. Here, no, though, is a different story. But I think the reason also probably is the case is because just judging from the scores that I've seen from the people in the chat on Twitch and here, uh, people are just sort of on the average side of things. So I don't feel like yeah. people really have much to say. Although I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's all right. Uh, but Overall we'll see what everyone has to say. Yeah, so. So we'll see where things go for this one. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And I hope it is a lot of fun for all of you here. And uh, yeah, so Cosmic and Joker, as usual, I will leave this for you two to take care. And uh, we are going to allow the community now to come and take their opportunity to go and talk about the episode at hand. And of course, you two as well will be involved in that mix too. So I can't wait to hear your responses on the episode, and maybe you might point out things that I might have missed out on, uh, or maybe have things that I might have praised or criticized or vice versa. So, very curious to see where things are going to play out for the review portion for the community. So, let's begin. So, yeah, take it away, uh, you two. Joker, do you want to go first, or, I, or should I? I'm okay with either one. Uh, I don't care. Well, <laughs> okay. Uh, well, my name comes first in alphabetical order, so you go first. What? Wait, 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 wait. That doesn't make sense. That, that makes I don't sense. want to go first. <laughs> My head hurts. Oh, mine's going to be like a minute long. Okay, so I, I knew the cameos were coming. I, I saw the screenshots. And I'm just like, all right, well, they're here, I guess. Was it because and of Twitter.com? <laughs> she did it herself. No, it, it wasn't. I don't, I don't want to say the reason. I'm going to be so embarrassed. I accidentally clicked on the spoilers channel <laughs> and oh, saw no. everything. <laughs> Yep. Oh man. It's fine. It was like five in the morning. Anyway, um <laughs> I I like the part where Jesse was like fangirling over Pumpkaboo. Or guys, whatever its name is. I like that part. Uh the animation was uh <laughs> a little rough. Yeah, whoever made that fart sound, they're they're right. <laughs> this, um the kind of spammy that boom blast. Yeah, spamming moves. Uh, some of the moves weren't animated that well. I like the light screen thing. I thought that was cool. But overall, it, I, I thought it was a 5 out of 10. My I least favorite part My least favorite part was uh, Iris running to go die next week. No! Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. It, it, was a, it was a pretty average episode. Nothing special. So yeah. That's it. So for me, I didn't like it. 
Uh, well, all right, just be blunt, I guess. I, Jesus Christ. I didn't like it. Well, it's not that it was a bad episode. Like, last week's was really bad. Um, and the battle was good. And I'll be honest, Diantha's Pokemon, I like all of them. Like, Aurorus is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon um, because it reminds me of Littlefoot. And I love Lame Before Time. But, you know, it died right away. So that was great. Um, Gorgice, I think, is an amazing Pokemon. It, it doesn't, in my eyes, suit Diantha at all. I think it definitely suited Jessie, and that's why I was really happy they did put the fangirling moments in it. Um, but in terms of Diantha, would not have been the Pokemon I would have given her. Um, I think if I had to, obviously, I'm as much as I love Snubble, I think she would have rocked with a Granville because it's a regal Pokemon. And also, she's like, you know, a queen and an icon. But and it's a fairy type. And it's a fairy type, exactly. But you know, Snubble gets none of. Um, now, my biggest issue with the episode was Sawyer. <laughs> uh, I saw that and I just got really mad. Um, to the point like where I had to walk away from the episode. Uh, I, this is the second time I watched it. I watched it without subs before. And it just made me re really angry because I was really hoping that... I. I was not surprised at all he made a cameo, and I have a feeling they're going to do cameos for every every battle, but he really should have been on the Ash versus Steven battle, not this one. Like, I get the Kanto rival trio, that one made sense, because, you know, Kalos, but he didn't make any sense for this one. Like, isn't, like, I, I, I just, I didn't understand. Um, and, I mean, Richie was amazing. I kind of was beginning to think he was just a fever dream and didn't exist. Um, and, you know, seeing, like, Jimmy, Marina, and Vincent, again, that was great. I love them, but, you know, we only saw their backs, so... If you, if you didn't know who they were, then you didn't know who they were. Um, and I would say another moment I did like was the interaction between Ash and Lance. I thought that was nice, and that does give me a little bit more hope that there will be more interaction with the other champions on his part. Um, because I obviously, in my eyes, he went back there to go wish Iris on, <laughs> and but I think that him interacting with Lance was just like a nice touch because like it almost seemed like when Lance and I and Ash were in like the arena together that they didn't remember each other. So it was nice to see that they did, and that was that was just that was just really great. Uh, if I had to give a rating to this episode, it, it's a four. I mean, last week was like a two, so it was better than last week. Um, Are we going to keep going up by two every match then? <laughs> no. Well, actually, I think, based off the trailer, next week's animation looks a lot better. So, maybe. I don't know. I, I'm hoping... Oh, so, next week, I'm really hoping there was a cameo from Dawn. I'm sorry, Joker, but I really do, just because uh -huh. Dawn is one of the three characters who've ever been in the same room as Cynthia and Iris together. So I think it makes sense for her to have a cameo just watching the battle. Oh, um, they're gonna they're gonna rub more salt on the wound next week yeah. and put Dawn in yeah. the episode too. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but yeah, I'm hoping it, it, it's Dawn and then all of the um, the Unova rivals, I think would be nice to see. Uh, Silent would be cool, but I'm honestly not expecting to see him. So just give me a PNG. Yeah. yeah, I'm not really expecting to see like any of the companions to be honest, in any of the cameos. But I'm just thinking it'd be like the final round in the stadiums. I'm wishing Good. on we Ash. Wanna, we don't want that one rival that we don't speak of. Which one? Oh. There's like a billion of them. I was going to say, wait, which one? <laughs> uh, the, one the one with the Locario. <coughs> which one? Which one? There's a million of them. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the god of <laughs> the The one of Unova. <laughs> oh. The god of High Dragon. Oh, the super secret po- oh, yeah, okay, I know you. <laughs> His secret weapon, <laughs> Hydra. secret weapon, yeah. <laughs> but uh, what was your score again? Just to make sure you said a four, right? Yeah, it's about a four. Towards the lower end of a four. Okay. So let's go and uh, pass it on to the next buddy then here in the call. Uh, uh, hi, Prov. We will pass it to you, buddy. Okay. I thought this was a pretty solid episode. I <laughs> the, the battle boat went re way better than I expected. Lance was the one who went all brawn, while Diantha was pretty much strategy. 
Auroras with the uh, with the screens. Gorgai's having trick or treat to affect ghost type um to affect targets so it can, they could become ghost types. Only for her to have use super effective shadow sneak and phantom force. The animation I will admit is a bit sloppy, but I still think everything worked out in the end. I didn't expect Diantha to be this strategic. And if I'm just being honest, I think there were a few times where Lance threw Hyper Beam when Dragonite was on Ed's last HP. Yeah, that's a no from me. High Dragon took the biggest of L's being Oko by Moonblast. Gyarados 2 with being jobbed and all. And I will admit, I like the cameos. The, Cal the Kanto Trio, the Johto Trio, Richie, and Sawyer? Hmm. I am still questioning how he got back from Hoenn. I'm still wondering when he returned to Kalos from Hoenn. Because he was with Steven the last time we saw him. Anyways, um... I like the fact that Jesse remembered Gorgias and <laughs> initially she when she saw Diantha as a star actress, she didn't care. But when she saw Gorgias, she went from zero to a hundred. Woohoo! I like this girl! She has good taste! <laughs> what? And she was rooting for Diantha all the way. I thought the bow was I thought the battle was good. I, <laughs> I'm worried about Iris though. I'm really worried about Iris <laughs> because we know how good of a trainer Cynthia is, and I don't know. Maybe, maybe it will be. Maybe the battle will be just as close as when we saw today. But <laughs> I hope Iris makes it out of there alive. Anyways, <clears throat> this episode was pretty solid, and I think I'll just give it a 7 out of 10. Mm. Oh yeah, and Twister sucks. Again, anime logic, okay? Nothing makes sense. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, so I think I'll give this like a 7.5 out of 10. I really like this episode. It was pretty good. I, I can't wait for... Um, um, Iris versus, I guess Cynthia. I guess even though I'm kind of afraid, when I when the when I saw that alive, I was like, no, Iris, don't go into there, don't go out there, don't don't you hear the piano you play? <laughs> no, don't go into the light. <laughs> so I'm worried for that. Uh, the battle itself was pretty good. Honestly, the the really the something I really hated about this episode was like, what was the strategy here? Like, for Lance's side. Like, yeah, Lance was like just like brute, like everything. Exactly, brute force. Even with that, even with that ending, um, end strategy, that wasn't really like a good strategy. It was like really risky and honestly really stupid. He was being a gentleman. He was letting her win. I don't know. <laughs> and I don't know. <laughs> going to a match with four dragons against the champion that's like, you know, has the ace is literally a fairy type. Just spams um, moon blast, so that's like that's an F. So honestly, don't care for both of them, but yeah, I'm glad that Diantha won out of the two because I don't care about Lance. Also, I really like the cameos because I I actually do really like um, Richie and people like that. I think Ethan was there too. I thought his name Anyways. was. Uh, Jimmy. Ethan Gold, whatever you like to call him. Yeah, it was Jimmy. Yeah, that's oh, not Jimmy, Ethan whatever. or Gold. That's Jimmy, damn it. Or is that, or is that, the, a, is that an English version? <laughs> we could, I don't know. It, it confused me. Because it English it, version. There was like another version, yeah. Then there was like another version of that freaking uh, in the movies. And I know the movies aren't canon, but like still, it was like a different one. I don't know. Anyways, 7.5 out of 10. I actually decently liked it. Alrighty then, so uh, thanks to everyone here who has shared their inputs on the 
on the episode. Now I guess we will take this opportunity to go and pick out some buddies from the uh, from those that are in the requests portion here and see what they have to say. So uh, yeah, I can move people over, but there's only six. Do you want to just break them up three by three? Yeah, so that way it'll, it yeah. won't get too crowded. All right, yeah. so I will bring in. Let's see. Let's bring in Sonic. Let's bring in Ty. And then let's bring in Rexu. All righty. There we hello, go. Hello. hello, everybody. Hola. Yeah, let's get it. All right. Uh -huh. So uh, we are now going to hear from you three about your inputs on this week's episode. Thank you to both. Uh, Hyprov, as well as Felipe for sharing your reviews on this, as well as to Joker and to Cosmic as well. So let's get to it then. Uh, who do we start? We, I think we chose uh, Sonic, so Sonic goes first. Okay. Okay, cool. So, hi everybody. How, uh, how's everybody doing? Good, good. Okay. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Alive. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I would say in terms of the episode, uh, not gonna lie, I thought Lance was gonna win. Because uh, because because I said something about, about like earlier, but uh, but yeah, I, uh, to me that was a bit of a shock that Diantha wins. Now, but, what did what made you think that Lance was gonna win? I uh, didn't see your be post because I, I I think I think it was because of that 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 it was kind of like destined to fight uh, uh, Leon again. Be, uh, be, uh, be, uh, because we did see him uh, fight uh, fight him the, the way, all the way back in episode 13. Oh, right, all right. So, yeah. And so, 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 to me, I thought, uh, I, I thought, he, I thought he was gonna win, but no. And, and, and that, and, and when the, and when he uses, like, the uh, hyper beam and that missed, yeah, that was game set and match. There, there was, like, nothing he could do. Um, other than that, uh, the cameos, uh, well, not gonna lie, they're just PNGs. <laughs> and, 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 they, and they could really be, be like a, a bit more than that, but, you know. At least they're acknowledged. Yeah, 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 no, right, they, uh, they, they had to, re they, they had to uh, at least acknowledge their presence. Plus, I don't know if Pokemon does this like other animes but usually like when it comes to animes they don't usually like you know voice actors have to stay with their character and they can't like you know use characters which, unless they have the which voice makes actor. sense i would say oh uh, money. well that and 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 and, and because and because uh, i'm going to assume that they, they, they didn't bring back you know the, the voice actors so uh, that's why they're like pngs But um, now to the fight itself. I think I, I think the I think the fight is just fine. Uh, at the very least, it, it didn't it didn't get like uh, too owed by uh, by Charizard's dra uh, Dragon Pulse or something. Uh, what else? I, oh, 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 yeah, oh yeah, that's another thing. Dragonite using Twister that 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 took out Aurora's. Yeah, no, I there, there's no shot of that happening. If you had to give it a rating, I mean, oh. maybe, but uh, 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 uh which I, as far as I'm aware, they they, 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 they did raise up the the the, the reflect on on my string combo, which uh, which actually made the twister pretty weakened. But 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 then again, but then again, our, um, uh, uh, Aurora's uh, was sick was sick was was taking like several damage from um, from Dragonite before before he put up the before she put up the ice trains and the and the frets. And I, I also I also like how Jesse acknowledges. Uh, um, uh, really, that was really cute. The the the, the bunker was yeah yeah yeah. I, I, I thought it was cute too. No, that they had to acknowledge that too. Uh, right out. Do. In terms of the rating, I would say eh, give it like a seven out of ten. It, eh, it's it's good, but not great. 
All right, then. At the, at the very least, it's better than the last episode. <laughs> but, well, that's not really that hard to achieve. Let's just say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Thank you for sharing your review on that one, buddy. Much appreciated. Mm -hmm. You're very welcome. All right, let's move on into the next, buddy. We got both. Uh, let's see. Rexu. Yeah, let's give Rexu some love here Rexu. with this one. All right, Rexu. And then after that All right. time, I got my notes done. Oh, notes. <laughs> All right. So like before getting into the overall fight, I like the uh, like the, the quick. I don't say like PNGs of like you know past rivals. We got Richie, which. I kind of popped off because I'm like, yo, Richie came back. Like, I think the, the last time we saw him was like either Chronicles or like one of the endings, or like an opening, and like an advance, right? He was, he was in an opening, like just like a cameo in it. Okay. We saw the Chronicles trio, and honestly, like, I would like another series like Chronicles that goes over, like, you know, characters. We haven't seen in a while. Like, I don't have that much memories with Chronicles, so like, didn't really like, like do it for me. Now, seeing the the Kalos rivals was cool, especially Trevor. I'm gonna mention him later. All right, uh, Jesse reminiscing about you know Gore guys was fun. Like hers, like that was funny at the end. She's like, hey, use use Gore guys more. It's like, oh, <laughs> but yeah, she's part of the Gore guys gang. All right, now into the actual fight. One thing I will say, it's better than the last fight from last episode because, like, <laughs> I think we needed a two-week break from journeys because that last fight was um, uh, Felipe. What's the definition of booty cheeks? D don't don't ask Why me. You I don't, uh, me. I'm not cold yeah, enough you, to yeah. figure out what the <laughs> hell to say on that. I uh, want but she. Snubs, that's the no, definition. No, 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 like Wampa Chief is another good, like that episode, like, oh my god, hot Horrendous. take, hot take. <laughs> well, we getting into see... TOS territory with this one, okay, buddy. So like, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, so, okay, so, like, I'm only gonna bring him, I'm only gonna, like, mention him twice. I'd rather watch Ash versus Cameron than Leon versus Alon. I don't care. <laughs> Damn, but uh. Like, this was the first true match of the Masters 8. Like, I don't know what happened during the last fight. I'm like, everyone just getting one shot, and I'm like, what? Oh, yeah, I All definitely right. agree. This is, like, the first real battle. We don't I'm count like, the last um, one. No, the first one was an exhibition match. That didn't count, man. It was an accident. Count. Yeah. <laughs> that was a massacre. What? All right, exactly. so... What would you give it as a rating, I... then, buddy? Oh, wait, um... Is it okay if I talk a bit more or no? Oh, okay. I thought that was it. That's what I was referring to on okay, that. Okay, no, no, talk a bit more. All right, go, also, go like, ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Also, like, uh, Dragonite versus Aurorus. I like the light screen strategy. That was cool. And, like, this is something that, like, I guess might be because of, like, Lance being a hothead. But, like, during the start of the fight, he was hyper beam. I think the light screen, like, helped the Aurorus defend it. And then, like, no, 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 wait, wait. Uh, yeah, that. And, like, Dragon I got left wide open, then I hit, hit with Blizzard. I was like, okay, Lance, you probably shouldn't use Hyper Beam. I'm gonna screw you over. And like, Twister knocks out Aurora, so I'm like, whatever, it's the anime. Like, I remember Ash's Girl Vow de de defeating when Noah's Altaria. I'm like, all right, whatever. All right, then like, we got Gyarados versus Gor Gorgas. Gyarados got. <laughs> Gyarados. Gyarados got absolutely bullied. It was kind of funny. It's like, well, Ash, you trained to fight a Gyarados for no reason with Paul, so that's good. Hydreigon versus Gorgas, better. Though, like, I will agree that the battle was stiff, because, like, low-key, uh, Hydreigon used a Dragon Pulse on Gorgas. All right, the wall helped take some damage. Then, like, Dark Pulse again. I'm like, hey, are you going to ask, you know, Gorgas to, like, dodge the attack? Use a ghost type move to dodge it? No, just got hit again. I'm like, oh. Okay. And I don't know why, like, the moment Diantha sent out Gardevoir, I knew Lance was fucked. I'm like, oh shit, it's Gardevoir. <laughs> oh shit. Just something about Mega Gardevoir, like, I guess the final Pokemon of, like, a champion in general. It's like, oh, someone, oh, someone's gonna walk away crying. Oh. And that was Lance. So, Hydreigon had no chance absolutely no chance at all like quad weak against fairy like i know I, 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 I should be adding like game logic but it's like i knew that like 
Dragonite was gonna get like a Dynamax because like you know he was saving him for for later. And after that, Hydreigon got you know absolutely clapped. And then we get to Dragonite versus Mega Gardevoir. Honestly, this was the worst fight in the episode. Cause like just how Lance acted. Cause it's like all right, you know, Dynamax or it's pretty cool. And like initially, I kind of thought that he was gonna like try to like overpower the Gardevoir with you know Dynamax moves or like maybe use the, the hell to like you know just stall a bit. You know, try to ch ch chip off damage. And like after the Dynamax was done, Dragonite would, would like go in. A, 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 a bit more carefully but no like lance to me felt a little hot-headed he decided to hyper beam and i'm like oh no <laughs> like the moment he's hyper beam it's like well game over <laughs> and this dragon knight got defeated i don't know this is a weird comparison i just had flashbacks to like star wars you know like obi-wan versus anakin were like lance believes that like he has the high ground it's like oh no you don't <laughs> And, and like just just like that in a way, Lance was kind of like D Darth Vader, except that you know his limbs didn't get ch chopped off, but like he ultimately lost because of his cockiness. And like um, next episode, I think we are gonna see like Silent and the best wishes, like rivals and peeps, even uh, what's his name, Trip. Uh, I mean, I, I actually know, I don't think we're gonna. See trip i think we're gonna see drayden and i'm only gonna bring him up one more time i think we will see cameron and um no. poor iris the best wishes fans are either gonna eat good or they're gonna take some l's maybe both and like before i wrap, wrap it up i have a normal rating and three crackhead ratings okay so the normal ratings are seven. All right, crackhead rating number one. This was sadly better than Leon versus Alon. Crackhead rating two. <laughs> Trevor making a diss track on Alon. And crackhead number three. Alon's broke ass working at sis Sister Dash. Oh, well. Yeah. Well, all right. <laughs> I guess he's employed now. <laughs> Thank you for oh. letting me join. <laughs> no problem. You're welcome. <laughs> First all right then. we appreciate that one. all right so what do you say we move on into uh the next buddy so who yeah. we got next we got is ty yay ty, please take it away buddy you're currently yeah. on mute who ty no i can hear him yeah, you can can hear. Hear. oh but why does he show me to me that he's muted really i'm not no muted idea. i can hear ty. so yeah ty's saying hello so oh yeah he's Okay. Hi, Ty. I don't know. Oh, wait. I, <laughs> Coffee, I, can, can, you hear me? I can hear you now, but for some reason, yeah. you're, show, you're showing in red for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe I'm, like, triple muted or something like that. Yeah, you got hit with the mute from everyone at the same time for Ooh, no apparent reason. Oh, okay. Secret I don't know what's going on, but, yeah, I can hear you now. <laughs> you're alive. Don't worry, buddy. We're good now. So, Ty, yeah, take it away, buddy. We without problems. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I... Wow, this is, I mean, this is a pretty interesting episode because I actually appreciate it a lot more than the, the previous episode, as everyone's been saying. Um, I mean, obviously, I love that episode because my babies were in it for a little bit more than But moving on to this episode, um, you know, we get this battle between these two champions that, again, no one really cares about. Um, but they are the faces of two pretty distinct generations um so you got to give them at least that that little props you know typically the this first sex like second one and then the sixth one that entered us into this new era that we're in now and it was a weird battle but i'm i was start after like listening to everyone i started to understand why people were saying it was stiff i was like hey, why are people saying it was a stiff battle i'm like oh wait Ain't nobody was dodging for crap. Like, no one was doing anything other than just, like, let me throw an attack here. Let me throw an attack there. But I did I did appreciate the strategy that Diantha put into it by actually adding the screens and trying to stall out for as long as she could. Um, and the, just the, the, you know, the ability, 
I think it was a type change for Gyarados and just kind of handling the, the Dragonite and Hydreigon for these. I, I love that this this Dragonite gets to be like the proverbial punching bag and until we get to Iris's Dragonite, which I think it'll be a little bit, it'll be in the middle. Uh, what, I don't know if it was, uh, no, I'm thinking about Ash's Dragonite for some reason. There's too many damn Dragonites in this show. I don't know why they decided to do that, but it, oh goodness, I'm like, I'm getting caught up in my words, but I, I did appreciate the animation in this one because it feels so a little bit, well, or at least a lot smoother than the one in the last episode. And I think what they're doing, I don't know if it's like being trying to be cost effective or not, but like they're just like inching their way to being a little bit better and better and better until they get to the final battle, which I hope the Leon and Ash fight. Like, just come on, <laughs> it's gonna be Leon and Ash. But hopefully that fight is like the best that they can provide as far as what we got going forward. And as far as the cameos in this episode, I got I got spoiled as well on Twitter because <laughs> I was like I was I started like scrolling through and I think it was actually Polly that spoiled it for me. Funny enough. <laughs> oh no, Polly! <laughs> oh no, she was gonna have to spoil her later. Oh. <laughs> she was screeching about Chronicles, and I was like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? And then I started looking and then I saw Annie poke. And I, I didn't even think there was an episode today because it's just been so long. Uh, and then I, I looked and I was like, oh, oh. And I was like, I guess I gotta have to watch this episode. And then I started seeing everything and I was like, okay, this is exactly what I thought it was gonna be. PNG city. And to, I, literally, I literally sat there, I was like, okay, so y'all can bring, y'all can bring back Marina, Jimmy, Vincent, Sawyer, now, out of all times, when y'all could have brought them back any time this entire show, and I don't want to hear no crap about, oh, we couldn't bring the voice actors back. No, you could. You brought Dawn at the last minute. Didn't even tell her what was going on. I'm not but sure about the all money. of them. <laughs> Plus, aren't some of them expensive? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe some of them are low rent, and we just, we don't know yet. But... Dawn's cheap. <laughs> As you should be. <laughs> <laughs> Look, don't don't get me started. But like, I I feel it's just like I was just I, I got pissed because I was, I really 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 wanted to see these characters see some of these characters come back because I know they could have done a better job than a lot of the like the prime what I would call the primary characters would as far as like affecting the show and and a lot of the a lot of the main characters that we have now. Especially since we're gonna have um, the girl that doesn't like to be in the show anymore, um, Koharu, having a her own episode in the middle of the league. The girl um, who doesn't like to be in the show anymore. I love that name. Oh, I got the episode <laughs> plot already. Koharu gets lost. <laughs> bye bye, Koharu, please. I hope that is our exit episode. I just wanted to just, just go. You're fine. We don't need you anymore. Um, but just back to the battle, I was happy that it was a lot more full length. It didn't feel like this rush fight to get to the end because we have other things to talk about in the show. No, it felt actually paced. And again, I'm hoping that, I mean, I, I know the Cynthia and Iris battle was going to be paced. They bothered to actually put some of, some of it in this episode that like really started off so they can just be battle 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 you know, by the time we get in the next episode which also kind of felt like was it was like a a good thing for the next episode bad thing for this episode because i think they could have spent more time with this fight especially when you have lance over here just being like i'm just gonna throw my body and my weight around like i know everything oh no and joker <laughs> they save money they're gonna put all the money into cynthia being the crap out of iris gonna put the whole budget on it. Hey, she's expensive and she deserves it. So, I don't know. I'm excited. I'm excited for the next episode. It's gonna be a lot of fun to do the uh, best girls and duke it out. But I, I mean, Cynthia's gonna... Poor Iris. That's it. <laughs> but again... Oops, sorry. Oh, I was gonna say, do you have a rating that you give this episode out of 10? 
Yeah, I was gonna say that. Um, I do not have a rating because I'm going to wait till the league is over and then I'm gonna rate them all at the same time. Oh, I like that. I like oh that God. too. We're gonna have like a uh, we're gonna have Ty extra minutes, I think. That way we can <laughs> we can get all of his ratings at once. At the oh, jeez. The Ty <laughs> review. Let's go. The Ty views. That's. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> We'll wait okay, till next I'll month to see it. I'll make a poster. Well, actually, no, next oh. two months, because if that two week break is true, then oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh. All right, then. So, thank you so much for sharing your input, buddy. And uh, we'll hear back from you when it comes to the score, anyway, at a later date. So, uh, what do you say, then? I think we are about to go and wrap things up with the last yep. three, if I'm correct, yep. then, right? Yep, we got three yep. more. And. All so right. we have. Oh, what happened? Oh, everything just popped out. Hold on. <laughs> do you want me to do it, Cosmic? Uh, can you yeah. do it, Joker? Hold yeah, yeah we can. Oh, you Joker really can. Oh, you know what it is? It's always I'm assuming oh, the shield icons are the only ones who can. I got it. I actually I hit the wrong button. I hit the pop out button. I had ah. the wrong button. Okay. <laughs> we are going to invite a short KG, Samurai. Yeah, Hot Cop and, and Joker were all like watch party managers. We could do stuff now. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Do what I and yeah. I'm gonna mispronounce your name, but is it is it is it Shadow? 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 I swear I've heard the name many times, but I always Shadow. keep mixing it every time. <laughs> I like to call it Shadow. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay, so let us begin. Then we got uh, mm. Azur, we got Sky, we got Shadow. So uh, Azur, we'll start with you, buddy. Okay. Uh episode was pretty decent uh, compared to the last episode that feels like a terrible quick time event. This one is average but at least feels like a turn based game. So the battle was pretty pretty good. Uh, Dianta actually uh, being more tactical rather than Lance just ooga booga big move. And uh, the, the, the first battle was quite okay. The dragon actually take it very well. The, the second battle, Gorgais actually uh really have a really good strat that reminds me of a what is that Volkner fight they just give it uh set up something and just damage it uh heavily and then lance uh sending his dragonite and the anime they, they they uh focus the camera on ash and he is so nervous that i'm thinking that he is having like vietnam war flashback <laughs> like he is having ptsd Every time he's seeing that high dragon, <laughs> so so after after that high dragon take the uh what is that no no light screen gore guys the uh finally get her God of War is easily knock one shot knock it <laughs> and the battle the last battle yeah I can see people don't like the last battle because I don't know yeah last was blowing his load way too early than it should be he just he, he used one last uh max move just to block uh what is that moon blast and it was yeah he, he, he's going to he, his timer runs out and the the mega win so so in the end uh the easter egg is pretty good uh, the fight ended with uh, Jesse uh, wanting Dianta uh, to use her Gorgas even more. That, that's pretty cute too. And also, I I'm gonna pull a bit of TSS uh, since I watched the episode live before. In the TV broadcast, they show uh, a, a bit of a snippet new for the Iris vs. Uh, Cynthia fight. And they show that uh, Cynthia second mon is Milotic and Iris second one is uh, her uh, Dragonite. So uh, at, at least Imbolga now uh, were safe from the slaughter. So that, that's pretty much that. And the entirety for my score is uh, 7.5 out of 10. It, it was better than, than the last fight. So we going back to Cosmic. Oh, thank you for going back to me. Okay. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm actually I'm gonna bring it over to Skyrim. Like, okay, this episode is fantastic. It's the first time we get to see Richie ever since Chronicle. It's the first time we saw Jimmy 
and Marina and Jackson, aka Vincent, ever since. And we have Jackson since Jodo Photo Finish and Marina and Jimmy and Richie ever since Chronicles. And we also saw Sawyer and the Kalos rival trio themselves. It's really ironic. We have. And that Lance brought back. Lance, he brought back his Dragonite ever since the Groudon Kyogre Part 2 parter thing. And he has High Dragon, which is a nod to the Black and White 2 games. And, and, and I barely have been surprised when Diantha has used Auroras and Gorgeist. It's the first time we saw Auroras ever since its debut, and it got a Pokedex entry. Well, oh, quite the approach here. And it's, uh, and it's not only that, Jimmy's Typlosion and Lil Miss made it their debut as well. Marina, and, I mean, and Jessie does recall her Gorgeist, even though Team Rocket is no longer evil anymore ever since. Cassidy I would say that. But, wouldn't be, but it's temporary. Yeah, they've done side stuff like this before. When, when Diantha, I mean, it was really hyped when they played that awesome Xerneas Yveltal battle theme when Diantha is using her Gardevoir. And the Galarian Gym battle when Lance Dynamaxes his Dragonite. It's really alluding to the giant shadowy Dragonite from the beginning. You, you got that? It was. That's why I understood those references a lot. Furthermore, we, it's the first time we saw uh, Iris's Exit Drill ever since it's Team Rocket's Shocking Recruit and Cynthia's Gastrodon ever since it's her twig. Turtwig Grottle and Torterra. The, the Diamond and Pearl episode, Turtwig Grottle and Torterra. I mean, this was really shocking, right? What would you rate it? I'm rating this 10 million out of 10. Can't wait for Iris and Cynthia battle. Do get out. I mean, if it. If this episode delayed for a year as well as Masters 8 due to all the backlash and death threats of Alon's loss, it would have been too much to bear. <laughs> but at least we got that. Wasn't it great? It's 10 million on 10. Nice. Yeah. And, and, uh, I'll and see just... you guys in the Cynthia vs. Iris showdown. And just yes. because this is happy monster ring. And just because yeah. this is currently being streamed on Twitch.tv, KG Prestige does not condone death threats at all, so please, Twitch, do not take that into consideration. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> Hold on. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Because <laughs> <laughs> we have to get a disclaimer so no. that. He doesn't condone no. violence either. Yeah. Yeah, we don't get the violence, but oh my god. <laughs> I just caught me off guard. I <laughs> caught me off guard too. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Hitting Hitting me with the reality a little too hard there, like, buddy. What? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, lordy. But uh, thank you to Sky for your input on that. Much appreciated, buddy. Uh, no. Nope. Okay. <laughs> do I cause me? No, no, no. no. Uh, Shadow, how do you pronounce your name? Shadow. <laughs> oh. It, well, now uh, I feel stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's basically like a, a sh shad, like shadow and and the and bow, like a like that Pixar short film bow. Oh, I love that short. It's I was gonna so call cool. you should do creative. Okay, well now we all know that it is shadow, like the yeah. hedgehog. Should do. <laughs> yes, cosmic. Yes. 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 <laughs> 
and the realm. Okay. <laughs> anyway. But, uh, yeah, let's get to it then with your side, buddy. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's hear okay. your review on this one, buddy. You're the last one to go. All right. Lucky. This is this is a this is a great battle, I have to say. Uh, sure, the animation is not on to par with other b battles in the past, but I think it more than makes up for the strategy used and the fact that it's between two champions that you really can't tell who's actually going to advance to the next one. It's like it's like if it was if you see Ash versus uh, Steven, you know Ash is going to win. If you see a uh, uh, Leon versus Alon, you know Alon's gonna lose. Lose and same thing with Iris. So uh, Lance and Diantha are pretty much the the real betting game. Suffice to say, you know. And oh. and and boy, it starts off with a which which, which I call a preparation strategy. You see, uh, Diantha Diantha's just setting up with a lot of ref with a lot of barriers and reflex on the field with uh, Aurora's, I believe. Lee, but yeah. while Lance is pretty much using Dragonite to basically pound pound the way through the defenses here and there, and it's like you can see the strategy he uses there is that. Lance is Lance is using a lot of uh, power, uh is depending on the strengths of his Pokemon and why and why wouldn't he he's he's considered to be the champion of the Kanto Elite Four and in the past that has always been you know the marker of uh, of power of the Elite Four is that you can't do anything to them it's like they're so powerful though they could just simply brute force their way through it so it's like yeah this is this is actually the first time where you see. Ch this is, I'm not, I wouldn't say the first time, time since it was Lance versus Leon, but it's like, this is a reminder of what happens when uh, an unstoppable force meets the immovable object, suffice to say. Hey, is that you now see champions actually relying on strategies rather than just, you know, try winning. Try winning. And it's like, it starts off, it seems like Lance is in the lead, he knocks out Aur Aurorus and all that stuff, and then it was like, then they switch out to, uh, uh, the Gorstris, I believe, Gors guys, and then, and then of course, uh, Gyarados. That was, that was also fun, and so, and it's like, you, and it's like, yeah, Diantha is very. Uh, I think it she it really fits well with how she was depicted in X and Y. It's like X and Y, she she always has that smile. I when she did like battles Ash, Ash uh, with Miss Pikachu in the in the past. It's like always that smirk as if she knows what to do. It's like. It's always that anticipation she has with it, and it's and you could tell she's a she knows a lot about uh, about what Lance is going to do here. You know, there's a lot of strategy here, like transforming Gyarados into a ghost type so that the ghost type moves would actually do super massive damage towards Gyarados. That was fun. It was and the constant back and forth here. It's like yeah, Hydralian uh, being dark type and not, pretty much creams the pumpkin. Okay, but then you send out Gardevoir, and then, and then it's like, then it's like, oh shit, uh, oh crap, crap. Hydralion, Hydralion is four times weak to, to Fairy type, type, and pretty much Moonblast killed it, <laughs> killed it. Though Hydralion, I will give Hydralion this is a Flash Cannon. You try to use Flash Cannon on Gardevoir, or, or it does show a, a cover for Fairy types. Too bad it was not fast enough. <laughs> Against Psychic. Psychic, and then it was like, then comes the big finale with the Dragonite versus Mega Gardevoir. Or it's. Honestly, I could. Honestly, what I'm talking about would be uh, repeating what everyone else says. I'm just saying it's a. It's a very well. well uh, cor uh, it's a very well written battle. That, that I, say. I wonder if Tomiaka writ had written it. And I think he might have did. Did it's it's much more strategy based than Leon versus uh, Alon, Lon, and you can, and it's like, and you're really wondering who's actually going to win, win. But it's like, yeah, Diantha, Diantha was that smug look and that uh, checkmate. It's like, yeah, she she earns that victory, which is funny because everyone considers her to be the weakest of all the champions, like both in character and as a. As a powerful, as a challenging opponent, it's like no, the answer's too easy in the games, you know. 
Yes, but yet, but yet here she earns her stripes. Yeah, which is respectable. Yeah, yeah. It also, it also, it also highlights something about. Uh, I've heard a lot of debates about whether or not, uh, not Diana was holding back on Ash Greninja and all that stuff. And I think it, this battle really showcases really what happened in that battle is that Diantha is at her game when she knows what her opponents are doing. When she does not know what her opponents are doing, she can be she can be easily overwhelmed, be caught off guard. Off guard, you know, guard. And, and Ash Greninja is pretty much an unknown factor. She cannot uh, immediately recalculate what's going to happen, unlike with, say, Lance and all that stuff. So it, which is a reminder that just because you have a more powerful Pokemon does not mean you will win the battle. At Brains beats Brawn. And it makes me wonder how would her battle against Leon would be. It's like, like I suspect Leon would have something unexpected that Diantha does not anticipate. And anticipate it because that's really how I feel like the only way you can actually get her, get her to lose. Speaking of... Uh, battles and losing it's like iris oh iris is so excited to meet cynthia and Farado or here at least the preview show that she, it would not be a complete creaming but but man and it's like it's going to be uh it's gonna be a real brutal battle battle and the fact that she's so, so hoping to win this one is a bit you know like yeah everyone knows what's going to happen happen and Oh. Yeah, <laughs> and if you had to give it a rating, I would I would say seven or eight out of ten. Ted, the only thing holding back would be animation, but animation is hard, and given the fact this was a last minute decision to animate all the poke all the Master Eight battles rather than just have sketches, sketches the fact that. Uh, I mean, Lance and Diana would have been the e most easily disposable one. Like, you don't even see it. See, the fact that they managed to actually animate this and and actually make a great battle out of it rather than just make a quick, you know, oh, oh, rock beats, sciz uh, rock beats scissors type of montage. Like, they could have just had Diana be chock full of fairies and easily crush uh, Lance's team with, with no trouble, you know. So, yeah, it, it's a solid effort. Still an effort. Not sure what else I can say about it, but it... yeah. But I hope to see more of this in the future. Alrighty, understandable. Thank you for sharing your review, buddy. Much appreciated. Thank you. Okay, then. With that being said, I believe that is everyone. Now that we've uh, got four reviews, if I'm correct for tonight. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, before we do end things off for tonight, I do want to give a genuine thanks to the folks here in this call currently, to Joker, Cosmic, Hyprov, and Felipe for taking care of things during this portion of the community night. Uh, it was a lot of fun to finally come back to do a reaction again, and I hope everyone here has enjoyed uh, the shenanigans that came through tonight's uh, reaction night. And it was great to see everybody come through, and uh, yeah. Much love to all of you. So, with that being said, of course, next Friday, next episode's coming out. How will that episode shape up? That's something we'll have to find out together. Uh, in the meantime, though, uh, once again, thank you to all those here in this call currently. I'm very happy with uh, how things went with tonight. And uh, also, shout out to Emmy, who was unfortunately unable to be here with us as well tonight. Because uh, she had some issues happening in the background. But I think hopefully by next Friday, she'll also be able to join us for more shenanigans. Wait, oh, like this. Does that mean Diantha Champion? Yeah. Can't be cancel. <laughs> Maybe. Cancel it, Jodo. I mean, at that point, then uh, then that would also apply to like all the other characters that are going to happen later down the road with Ash. He's now the Hoenn champion, too, if that's the case. <laughs> oh, no. Yes. Um, but, yeah, so thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. I think we're going to go and wrap this stream up with raiding our buddy... Uh, who's streaming right now? I think Rich TSS. Richie was on. Yeah, yeah, I see both Richie and TSS on right now. Wait, we can use the raid command I made there. Who do we raid, though? TSS <laughs> or Gritchy? Who has less people? Uh, let's take a look. Hold on, let me refresh. Uh, TSS has three and Richie has two. Well, I say because we always raid TSS. I put my vote in for Richie. All right, let's I'm give okay some love there. for Richie then. 
He's playing League of Legends. So if you guys love uh, Unite, you'll love League. <laughs> All right, everybody. So there we go. We're going to go and raid our buddy Richie then. Uh, hey, there, buddy. Oh, okay. So, hey, look at that. I love the the thing right there. All right. So let me go and hit uh, Richie's thing. There we go. Let's get it. All right. Thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. We hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll talk with all of you guys later in whatever video we make. Take care, everyone, and as always, make sure to have yourselves an awesome day. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Snobs. Bye. Bye. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what did we learn today? Snubs. 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 Wait, Cosmic, I just caught- Hello, everyone. Go here. Thanks for watching the Pokemon Post Discussion episode. If you want to see more episodes, then subscribe to our YouTube channel to not miss out on new episodes. As always, the future's in the palm of your hand, and happy monstering!